4.3 is a filler update, which means no new map and nothing too major happening other than, of course, new characters like Navia and Chevreuse. That concept alone should give you an idea of the total Prima gems we will get, but is it really the case? If so, let's look at it. I'll also make another video talking about how many Prima gems we can get from today until the end of 4.3 to give you a broader picture. As we always do, the first is dailies. 21 days each on a banner means 42 times 60, giving us a total of 2520 Prima gems. As we all know by now, there are three small events that gives 420 each, and one main event that gives 1,000 Prima gems. So, totaling the events, we get 2260. There's, of course, one shop reset, meaning five wishes or 800 Prima gems. 4.3 maintenance gives us 600, and 4.4 livestream will be 300. Moving on to the Spiral Abyss, we will be getting two resets, and we all know what floor I take as the end. Yes, taking floor 12 as the end. All right, all right, I'm just kidding. Taking floor 11 as the end, we get 900 Prima gems. As always, I won't be considering exploration, web events, codes, Hoyo Lab daily check-in, and more. I mean, there is no exploration in 4.3 because there is no new map, so it doesn't really matter. All right, now to the final part where we add all the Prima gems together, and it's looking like 4.3 is really bad. The total comes to around 7,280 Prima gems, or 46 wishes. I also want you to remember that this is the total number of Prima gems in 4.3. If the character you want is in the first half, the gems are even less than this. Better get farming and saving if you want a character from 4.3. As I said at the start of the video, I'll also be making a Primo gem count from today until the end of 4.3, and it should be out soon. So what do you think? Comment down your thoughts, and while you are at it, like and sub too. Oh, and turn on the notifications as well so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day, everyone.